The patient here is positioned supine with the transducer at the mid-axillary line between the subcostal margin and iliac crest. Can you identify the layers of abdominal wall muscles to safely target the correct neurovascular fascial plane? One of the challenges with tap blocks is correctly identifying the layers, and this is even more challenging with static ultrasound images of the target anatomy. Instead, consider starting midline to identify the oval-shaped rectus abdominis muscle, which is positioned under the superficial fascia of the abdomen. At the lateral margin of the rectus sheath, the anterior and posterior rectus sheath coalesce and form an aponeurosis which in turn blends with the aponeuroses of the lateral abdominal wall muscles. This includes the external oblique, internal oblique, and transversus abdominis muscles. From this relationship, the three relevant layers are easily identified and tracked as the transducer is translated laterally. Now the target is clearly seen as the neurovascular fascial plane superficial to the transversus abdominis muscle. The peritoneum and contiguous transversalis fascia are also safely identified as a hyperechoic structure deep to the transversus abdominis muscle. As the transducer is translated medially, again, the three muscle layers are visualized. The aponeuroses of the layers reform into the anterior and posterior rectus sheath. 